I was about four or five years old, man. I was in front of the television and I saw Michael Jackson for the first time and I was like, what? Like, like I want to be just like him. in performing art school at a very young age. So I was an arts kid. So I was like the talent show king. Like I like I wanted to do every single talent show in the city of, of Miami, man. So that was definitely one of my things. But I didn't start doing my own material until I was about 14, 15. And I feel like that was a definitely a, a way bigger step. Um, it's a lot easier to captivate an audience that uh, knows the song that you're singing. Um, when they have no idea what you're singing, you know, it's, just a, it's a lot harder. Which, you know, I, I think was a humbling experience in itself. Pre-show routine starting from the morning. Um, I like to have a hearty breakfast. Uh, I eat a lot of eggs. Sometimes I add a little turkey bacon on that thing if I'm feeling extra saucy. And I go to the gym. So, like, I, I like to, to get a quick workout in, you know, earlier in the day. You know what I'm saying? So I was in Guavali during the show today. When I get to the venue, a whole new workout starts. So like I get with my dancers and we got like this routine. We add a dance step like every couple of months. And the dance used to be like 10 seconds long and now it's like two minutes long. It's pretty much, it kind of brings you back to normalcy. It brings you back to something that you know. So like no matter how many people we're performing for, I'm all, I always feel normal. I always feel normal in my routine. Um, and then we say a prayer and then we go out on stage make it happen and then I do 200 push-ups after the show. Cause we're already warm, we're already sweaty, so we knock it out. <laughs> but the whole routine, man, all together is, it, it, I think it's all important. You know, from, from the warming up physically to, to warming up my vocal cords. You know, it all plays a part, man. And um, without one, it's gonna be a little off, you know what I'm saying? No matter how trash a night might be, if you're with people that can make the night feel good, man, it, it really doesn't matter. Listening to the audience singing the lyrics back, I just always think that's pretty amazing. I